Greetings all, this is a real quick and dirty introduction into how to use Visual Studio 2019. Uh, I have a couple of students who are having difficulty using it, so we're just gonna jump over to Windows here and we're gonna try to set up a quick example of how this works so that people can understand better how to get involved and how to get started in using the system. I'm just gonna jump in here to Visual Studios 2019 and we're gonna walk through the process. You'll note that the first thing that I need to do is to create a new project right here. So I'm going to do that. Create a new project. I'm just going to click on that and we'll open her up. I have a variety of options here. Um, pick an empty project. And this is going to be Windows C++ uh, and a console. Click on Next. It's going to ask you then for uh, you to configure your project. Give it a, a name. For us, we're just going to use the standard Hello World. Uh, give it a location. I do not like this location, so I'm going to pick something else. I'm going to jump into my Documents folder, and I'm going to come in here and just create another folder. I'm going to call this uh, Visual Studios 19 Assignments. You call this whatever you want. Please make sure that every time you save something, you save it in that folder. So we're going to have a new project here called Hello World. Every assignment should have a separate name, a different name, and should be saved in a different location. Everything's going to be saved inside the VS19 assignments, but it's going to have its own folder for that particular project. Additionally, please make sure that you place the solution and the project in the same directory. Okay, so once you have all this set up, you've given the name, you've assigned a location. For my case, I created a place because I'd rather do it there. And I made sure that the solution and the project files are all in the same directory. I'm going to click on Create. So now I have a created project location and the settings are done and my main window opens up here with a variety of options. I'm going to go over here where it says Source Files. Underneath the Solution Explorer, I'm going to right click under that and I'm going to click Add a New Item. All right, I'm going to go into the Solution Explorer. I'm going to right click on Source Files and I'm going to add a new item. I'm going to open up the options here and the option that I'm going to be doing is a CPP file, a C++ file. So I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to select this and it's going to open up a blank CPP file. Now at this point, you can begin coding. I've already seen a lot of this done already, so I'm just going to be adding this simply because it's part of what I uh, am doing for this particular assignment. Okay, the main thing that I'm doing here is the C out and uh, the pause, and that's basically it. I need to write this out. Now, once that's done, I click on the local Windows debugger, and I click on that, and it will create the exe file that I need. And of course, it's creating it in that folder that I told it to create. It opens up an output window. Now, this particular output window now, I should take a picture of. And I only want to take a picture of the actual output window. I don't need a picture of the code. Just need a picture of the output window. Once I got a picture of the output window, a screen capture, I can press OK, and it goes away. Now, I'm essentially done. The source that I've written up here is already saved as well as the exe and all the other files that I need. Okay, so I can close uh, wind, I can close Visual Studio 19. I'm just gonna close this. I'm then gonna go down and I'm gonna open up a file explorer and I'm gonna go look for those files. And you'll note here is the VS19 assignments folder that I created. And inside Visual Studios has now created this thing called Hello World. And look what's inside. I have a debug folder. I have a solution, a project, a filter, a user folders, or files. These are all created by Visual Studios. This is the only code that I have input, which is the source CPP. All right. So when you use Visual Studios, all these files are made. All right. So I'm going to go back here to v, uh, VS19. This I now need to come uh, to put into a zip. So I'm going to right click on this and send to a compressed folder, okay? And it's created a compressed folder for me. And this I can now upload for my assignment. And that's really all I need to do uh, in order to complete the assignment. And once I'm done with that, I can go back and uh, send that up to the uh, website and then everything will be fine. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for looking by.